Hey guys, Cast72 here, and I want to go over a follow up on the results from the RunCam 2 on the Tello drone. But before I do, there's a few little things I want to go over. Um, one is, and I'll put um, again some photos in the video so you guys can uh, see what I'm referencing. But I want you to see this here. I've got a viewer that um, had a question about my white lens mod that I did on the Tello a while back. So I went ahead and reinstalled the, the um, wide lens uh, because I want to do two videos. Um, and I guess it works out either way because the first video is going to be the results with the RunCam 2 on the Tello, the flight time and picture quality. And then the second video is going to be for the Tello the difference between the video with the original Tello camera and then the RunCam 2. But not only that, for this specific viewer, I went ahead and he had a question about the wide lens. And um, basically, I put my wide lens on to show him the results that I'm getting with my Tello drone. Um, another thing I want to mention, on the previous video, when I introduced the mod, which was the RunCam 2 for the Tello, I also said that I got rid of the heat sink. And the reason for that guys is because if you take this little shield off and it, it comes off, these little imprints right there, those are resting points on the CPUs inside the Tello, which by coincidentally are already have a layer of thermal grease. So what I did was I took mine off. It, it just pops right out. Um, here, I'll show you guys. I didn't want to have to do that, but look. All right. See the CPUs? And then here's the other opposite end. Oops. Hopefully it's in focus. Okay. So technically, this is your heat shield. I mean, I'm sorry, your heat sink. So for Tello to put layer upon layer upon layer to keep the CPU code, it, it, it wasn't a good idea. This alone was enough. So I went in ahead and um, took my heat sink off, applied only what you see here, and I have no, issue, no issues whatsoever with heating. Um, however, before when I had not only this, then the, the heat sink, not sure where it's at, the heat sink that came on uh, above this along with another layer of thermal paste and then the plastic shield, I don't see where that's at either. Um, you can imagine why it was overheating. Um, but anyway, I guess these engineers get paid handsomely to come up with ideas like that, that evidently sometimes work and don't work. Hit or miss, they made the profit. They sold the Tello, so um, buyer beware. Anyway, um, I'm getting off track here. So yes, for that specific viewer, I won't mention the name because I don't think he he or she would probably want to be presented on this video, but uh, this is for you. I did put the wide lens back on. There's going to be two videos. One's going to reference the results with the Run Cam 2, and the other's going to be the not only the wide lens uh, video quality, but the quality in general of the camera. And I'm telling you guys, it's a difference between night and day. Run Cam 2 looks beautiful. This here, I don't know. I mean, it, it looks good at certain points, but then again, you get the jitter, you get the video disturbance, and it, it terrible, just terrible. But anyway, um, yes, I took another two grams off because I cut the frame out that, that mounts the... the run cam to the frame so basically it would go on top yes it still holds because the important parts of the tello that hold that top plate are right here it's that hole that hole and then this little grommet and that little grommet everything else is just a brace so that that uh, took two grams off extra and um, is there anything else I wanted to mention to you guys oh 
I didn't take my time flying gradually, you know, with the Run Cam 2 and getting some nice footage and video quality, which I, another thing, guys, I did it in the back of my yard. I wanted to actually go to a park or something, but as usual, I got off work. I rushed to do this video because I don't want to keep you guys waiting and I wanted you to see the results. I didn't want you to have to wait till my day off. It, it would be a couple of days from now. So um, I kind of rushed all this. Um, so during the flight, I just was moving all around as quick as I could, doing turns, going up, going down, just doing whatever, just to try to drain the battery as much as I can. Um, I won't give away the minutes that it took for the battery to drain with the Runcam 2 on it, but I did put a time clock on the video. Um, the second you see the Tello start and up in flight, the, um, the clock will begin which I don't think it's fair but we're only counting flight time because I actually had to turn it on walk out of the house with it uh, connect it to Wi-Fi so that alone was taking some battery usage but I'm only concerned about actual flight time so just take that into consideration what else yeah that's it um, the other thing else I'll, I don't know if I'm gonna split the video into two you know, run cam to uh, Tello original camera and do the comparison that way or run one video first and then the second video. We'll see. I'll figure that out and we'll go from there. But either way, rest assured, both videos will be on the run cam original with its original camera quality and then the difference with the run cam two. I feel like I'm forgetting something to tell you guys. Damn it. I remember what it was, guys. When I mentioned about taking off the two grams, not only did I trim uh, the top plate frame, right? I did keep this back part to hold the battery. And also, as I mentioned, the holes that help hold the, um, the frame to the, to the Tello. I also trimmed, if you've noticed, the legs. Remember the legs had two um, braces, one on the top, one on the bottom. Now this took me a while and I wasn't quite sure. I said, damn it, if I cut those and this plastic is too flimsy, it's going to cause a lot of vibration. And I said, well, if I screw it up, I screw it up. That's all a, pro that's all a part of the process of modding. Well, guess what? I trimmed those, got rid of them, and no, it, it worked just fine. So, I uh, that's where the two grams came. I didn't want you to think, well, how in the hell did he get two grams just with that? No, it was also all four legs. So if you look at it, it doesn't have that top that top brace, just the bottom. And like I said, it works fine. So that's how I got the two grams. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so um, like I said, guys, I'm sorry I couldn't get a more scenic flight and take my time and really maneuver the drone um, smooth and steady. Um, all this was just short for time. I, like I said, I got off work and I was just trying to jump on this before the sun went down and, or what little light we had because the sun wasn't even out today. It was cloudy. But um, yeah, and luckily we didn't get any rain. Otherwise, this video wouldn't even be out today. So, all right, guys, enjoy the video and um, peace out. Mm -hmm.